Hello everyone, John Odom, drum set and percussion teacher here with Groove with Passion Drum Lessons. Well, today is 12-23-23, so we're right on the cusp of Christmas. It's right around the corner, and I know this time of year is very busy for a lot of people. It can be very difficult to find time to, you know, practice your drums. Uh, it can be a challenge with all the getting ready for Christmas and getting ready for Christmas dinner, get-togethers, shopping, etc. So today I'm going to go ahead and give you a, a lesson idea, okay, a practice idea, and tell you who this is from. Now, this is from actually Dr. Peter Erskine. Now, if you haven't heard of Peter Erskine, you need to check him out. Uh, he's one of the top drum teachers in the world. He's a professor of percussion, uh, PhD, okay. I uh, also played with the uh, jazz band Weather Report for many years. So 14 years ago, he filmed a lesson, and this is called the, he calls it the fun warm-up, okay? Uh, I call it the 876 countdown. Now, this warm-up, um, I do this oftentimes with my students. So I've got a few students who, they warm up with this every single lesson. This is what they want to do. Uh, because it is a good a good way to warm up, and we should always warm up when we're going to play, whether we're practicing, get, getting ready to play a gig. Uh, it's always good to warm up our hands, fingers, wrists, even our feet, too, with the pedals, if we can, uh, before we play. So um, what this is, it's pretty simple, but because you're, you have to count your strokes, it forces you to pay attention, okay? So you start counting, you start with eight, you work your way all the way down to one, like so. Eight. Seven. Six. So not a difficult exercise, but you can't just put this, like Peter Erskine said in the video, on autopilot and just play and not pay attention to it, okay? So it does force you to focus. It is a good way to warm up your hands and also get just get your mind into the mode of drumming, right? So a while back, I came up with an idea recently. thought, well, we can take this exercise and we can expand on it, okay? So the way I'm going to expand, I'm going to turn this exercise from just being a hands only or warm up only for the hands. And we're going to make it or enhance it to become a, uh, an, a limb independence exercise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and play my bass drum on every other stroke as I'm playing this. Now, I've heard uh, Tommy Igo. Uh, Steve Smith, I've heard a couple of the top drummers talk about this, that when you're playing a pattern, a groove, or pattern that requires a lot of independence, okay, a difficult pattern, then you need to put one limb or, or part of the groove, a, a voice on the kit, on autopilot. Now, autopilot in drum talk means you're not focused on that, okay? Autopilot means you're not, you're not paying attention to it, all right? My recommendation for this is your bass drum because you have to count your strokes on the pad. This is one thing I've discovered while practicing this. A lot of times I warm up with this exercise, okay? This is a warm-up that I use, okay? Um, so here I'm going to play it through it for you. We're going to start at eight, work our way down, but I'm going to add my bass drum again, starting on one. And by the way, this video is part one of this exercise, okay? Recently, I came up with a new, a different way to play this. Um, same idea, but a little different. And I decided I'm going to film a part two video. So this is part one, part two to come a little later, okay? So here's how you play this with the bass drum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left hand, same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
I'm going to go ahead and try to play a little bit louder. In the video, I will include the link for Peter Erskine's video on this video so you can reference it and also to give him credit. Um, but he talked about playing at a softer dynamic. I'll go ahead and play a little bit louder because I know it's not going to come through real loud on the, uh, through the camera. And I want you to be able to hear the stroke. So I'll go ahead and play a little bit louder. But when you're practicing this, you want to kind of keep this at a softer dynamic. We always want to play with control all the time. Okay, so we'll start at seven, gonna continue here. One, two, four, seven. Now, when you get to seven, it's gonna shift over. And when you get to, when you play the odd number the second time, okay, the second hand, your bass drum will shift from playing on the odd numbers, it, it will shift over to the even numbers because you're playing your bass drum with every other stroke. All right, so I just played on seven, now, I'm not going to play on one. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, I'll shift back over to the odd numbers when I, when I go to six, like so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Left hand, same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's five. One, two, three, four. It's going to shift to the odd numbers again. One, even numbers, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Back to the odd numbers for four. One, two, three, four. Same thing with the left hand. One, two, three, four, three. One, two, three. I'm going to shift again to, to two, the even number. One, two, three. Back to the odd numbers. One, two for two. One, two, then we hit one, right? We just go one, one. Now we go back up to eight. Same idea, it's gonna work out the same way. So we'll start with two here. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. We shift over to the even number. One, two, three, back to the odd number for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, Four. Here's five. One, two, three, four, five. Shifting the even numbers again. One, two, three, four, five. Back to the odd numbers for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gonna shift over again on seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back to the odd numbers for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. We'll play them on the end, right? So put your bass drum on autopilot. Okay. Some of my students have been able to pick up on this fairly quickly a couple of them have really had to focus when they're playing it because it does add a level of difficulty to what is a pretty pretty simple exercise if you pay attention you're counting it's not that hard you start adding foot in there right bass drum or next we're going to do this with a hi-hat then it, it it's not a super difficult exercise i'm not saying that it's super difficult but it does really make you pay closer attention Okay, so we're going to say my idea with your hi-hat now, all right? Starting on eight, go down to one and back up, just like so. Every other beat, hi-hat, every other stroke on the pad, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's eight, eight second time with the left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. That's going to shift over the even numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back to the odd numbers for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's five. One, two, three, four, five. Shifting over again. One, two, three, four. 
Back to odd numbers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here's three. One, two, three. Shifts again to the even number. One, two, three. Back to odd numbers. One, two, one, two, one, one. Going back up tape. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Shifting over to even number. One, two, three. Back to odd numbers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Shifting again to even numbers. One, two, three, four, five. Shifting back to odd numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shifting to even numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shift back to odd numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Now, what is your what is our goal for this exercise? Well, when we start to learn a new groove, new fill, new song, you want to be able to practice it until it becomes as comfortable as possible. Okay? So I would say that would be the goal for this. You want to be able to play this. I'll go back to the bass drum for a minute. Something like this, okay? Now, I know some of you are going to want to try to take this at warp speed, and if you can, that's fine. That's great. Um, you definitely want to be able to speed it up some, all right? Um, however, you also want it to sound smooth, so don't, don't try to jumble it all up and play it to where it sounds like a train wreck. That's no good. That's not what we want. We always want clarity on the drum set. Whatever tempo you're playing at, whatever style of music you're playing at, you should be able to hear every note. Every note should have, you know, its place. So you don't want it to sound all jumbled up. It should, you know, no flams, okay? No flams. Bass drum and, whether you're playing with your bass drum or hi-hat, the strokes that your bass drum and hi-hat land on should be even, okay? So, as I mentioned earlier, it's almost Christmas. Christmas is right upon us, okay? Well, you may know somebody or maybe you yourself are looking to uh, have start learning a musical instrument. Music lessons, drum lessons make a great uh, Christmas present. I am currently enrolling new students for drum lessons. Uh, currently I teach at Flamenco del Sur Arts. Now we are a music and dance school. We are located on Narcusi Road. We are in the Narcusi Business Park, okay, uh, here in Orlando. And so we actually offer not only drum lessons at the school, we offer ballet, flamenco lessons. We also have piano, uh, guitar, uh, and violin lessons as well, okay? And then I also teach, not only do I teach at the school, I also offer private lessons for in-home students, okay? I can come to your home if you live within the Orlando area. I have been background check, certified safe to work with children. I've been teaching for over 14 years. Um, and then I also can offer um, online lessons. I teach online lessons with Zoom right here. Again, we can either do that privately. I also teach with lessons in your home, okay, which lessons in your home can be either online or I can come to your home with them, with the company. And then I also teach online with Lesson Face, and Lesson Face is strictly uh, online. So if you know someone, if you want to uh, you know, buy a, a nice Christmas gift, okay, for somebody to surprise them with drum lessons or, again, can be another instrument, 
Um, the arts is a wonderful gift for sure. So I hope you guys all have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Everyone stay safe, practice when you can. Also, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not, because I will be filming more lessons, okay, uh, in the near future. And also, please feel free to give me a like, a thumbs up on this video if you, if you like it, and I hope it helps you, okay? Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. Take care.